how are we doing today, right? Well, I'm doing good because, you know, as long as I have my little macchiato in the morning, um, I'm all right. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good start. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. You enjoyed your week. It is Friday, so what's better than that? Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so this is something that, you know, may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, it's okay. It may not be happening for you right now. So you're probably like, what the freak? But um, what may not resonate for you could resonate with the next person. It is general for that reason exactly. This situation could be reverse crossed or whatever you want to call it. Crisscross, hopscotch, applesauce, whatever the hell. <laughs> whatever the freak you guys want to call it. No, for real. Like, whatever the hell y'all want to call it, okay? So if you're a cross watcher for an Aquarius, this may be reverse. All right. So let's see, angels, what do you have for Aquarius in love? What is coming towards Aquarius in love? What is coming towards the Aquarian collective in love? What do you have, Spirit? What do you have? Hoping. <laughs> uh, waiting, expecting, and manifesting. Okay. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Secret admirer. Suppression, resistance, and shyness. Okay. <laughs> So it looks like somebody's suppressing some feelings here. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're hoping to, to, to be with you again or something. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? We have for Aquarius in love. Time, weight, cycles, and affinity. So there may be separation right now. Spirit could be saying that um, just give it some time possibly. Okay. Give me one more card. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius, Aquarius. Pretend. <laughs> ah, why do motherfuckers always feel the need to pretend with us and shit? What the freak? Um, somebody's pretending, Aquarius. Someone may be pretending that they don't have feelings for you. Um, there's a mask and an exaggeration and a bluff. So, in other words, somebody's fronting. But let's see. I guess that's the song for you, Aquarius. I was just fronting. You know that I'm, mm, 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 never mind if I'm showing no. I was just fronting. You know I want you, babe. Okay. Somebody's definitely admiring you. So some motherfucker that's embodying the King of Cups reverse. Okay, now, for those of you who don't know who the hell the King of Cups reverse, could be a water sign, right? Could be a Libra. But um, whoever's embodied by this King Cups Reverse may be someone who's not very good with their emotions. Someone who may not be emotionally stable. <laughs> a lunatic. No, I'm saying. <laughs> um, us Aquarians, we always have, you know, lunatics and, you know, just crazy people coming towards us. But yeah, the King of Cups, I mean, in a reverse, he could be manipulative and he can definitely wear a mask on his emotions. He can hide it by playing little tricks or little games or whatever the hell the case may be. So let's see, um, angels, tell me more. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? Whoa, what's coming towards Aquarius in love? Tell me more about the situation. Somebody got their heart chakra all the way blocked. Whoa, all these cards just flew out. So we gonna take it. So we got the nine of wands, Aquarius. So obviously somebody here um, could have a lot of fear with the nine of wands here. You may be feeling very wounded and tired and fed up in this situation with whoever the hell this person is. It does show that there was a breakup here. Um, keep in mind, cross watchers, you know, this could be reversed. So this could be how you're feeling with the Aquarius. But the two of cups in reverse indicate there was some type of separation or breakup here. Okay, um, maybe there's a lack of emotional intimacy here. And this may be why someone checked out. And, uh, you know, I just can't deal with this anymore. Six of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody is still holding on to their past or somebody's still holding on to you. Someone misses you. They haven't let you go. Um, Gemini did have this. So if you have Gemini in your chart, you may want to go watch the Gemini reading. I'm a Gemini rising. So I, I typically watch my rising sign because they resonate for me more. Um, or you could be connected to a Gemini. But you have the Ace of Cups in reverse, Aquarius. So I feel like you're very afraid to reinvest your feelings into whoever the hell, whoever the hell this person is. Um... I don't know what's up with with Aquarius readings lately. I, you know, me as a tarot reader, um, I go through the readings. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like nobody resonates with me. It's not resonating. I'm like, no, that's not it. I'm just like, oh my god, like why can't I find a reading that fucking like really resonates? But anyway, I don't know. But yeah, so what I'm seeing here, Aquarius, I just feel like you're very afraid to 
let this person in, okay? It's different for all of you as to why you are afraid to let this person in. It's different, okay? We will find out exactly why you're very closed off and guarded. Of course, this could be the person you're dealing with who's closed off, guarded, blocked off, you name it. But somebody definitely has, um, is suppressing their emotions. They're not letting, they're not telling the other person anything. Someone could be maybe holding on to a grudge because when I see the nine of wands and the four of pentacles, this could talk about somebody who's holding on to a grudge or like they have a chip on their shoulder. Maybe somebody who's very resistant to change. They're very guarded. They're very block the freak off. Um, maybe it could have been a third party situation. This motherfucker may have gotten you involved in a third party motherfucking situation. And this is why you're very guarded. Okay. Tell me more spirit. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? What else do you have for Aquarius in love? What else do you have for Aquarius in love? Yep, I see exactly what it is. This person had you involved in a love triangle. Um, or for some of you, you feel like this person was prioritizing other things other than you, right? You feel like you weren't a priority in their life. Justice in reverse could be a Libra. Some of you, you're on and off with this person, okay? But obviously, you feel like you weren't given the justice that you deserve. You were not given answers. Um, some of you, this person may have broken up with you out of nowhere and didn't tell you why or whatever. But there's a lack of closure here. There's a lack of um, fairness. You feel like you weren't treated fairly in this situation, point blank, period. Um, and even though for some of you, especially with the last reading, I've seen somebody was coming back to you guys to, you know, apologize and have a talk and whatever. But even after they told you this, I feel like some of you may still feel like you need some more time um, to, to just kind of let go of this grudge because I feel like you're still hurt. You're still wounded. You're still holding on to it. The fact that they lied to you, the fact that um, they were moving like that, it just really concerns you. And that's the thing with us Aquarians. Um, once you slide us like that, it's very hard for us to see you in a different way, okay? Um, it's usually a one and done situation for us. So the death card in the reverse tells me that someone is definitely still holding on to um, something that happened between you guys. That's what I'm seeing. And with the seven of swords... Okay, some of you, it's a situation to where they're just very guarded and blocked off because of their past, okay? You would know your situation best. They could be wearing a false mask. You know, the motherfucker could be pretending that they don't have feelings for you and they're just hiding behind this mask of these games because the problem is they really don't want to be um, emotionally vulnerable or intimate with you. They have issues around their heart chakra. They have issues around being vulnerable, okay? Their, their prior relationships may have left them feeling very wounded and just like they just can't trust anybody or something like that, okay? So just take it however it resonates for you. But bottom line, I'm just feeling like it's hard for someone to trust in this situation. Angels, what caused this Nine of Wands for Aquarius and this person? What caused the Nine of Wands for Aquarius and this motherfucker? What caused it is a lack of consistency, a lack of effort, Okay, some of you are, are tired. You're tired of, you know, fixing it or trying to fix this person or whatever the case may be. But bottom line, it tells me there was a lack of um, effort, focus, consistency with this person. Maybe, you know, if they're guarded and blocked off emotionally and they have issues with vulnerability, that could be why you're feeling this way with them. Two of Pentacles. Somebody is moving very slowly here. It could be an earth sign. I have Scorpio as well here. Tell me about this separation or this breakup for Aquarius and the cross watcher. Why is the two of cups here in the reverse for Aquarius and love? Two of cups reverse. Yeah, you see someone's feeling defensive. Seven of wands. I feel like um, somebody, you know, came in out of nowhere. Maybe unexpected communication um, to try to apologize like or something like that. Maybe this person try to be sweet to you or you try to be sweet to this person you try to show them some kind of love or but it's like they just keep pushing you away or shutting you out or the Aquarius is shutting you out because you know they're hurt and maybe this communication someone tried to apologize but this communication um ended up in some kind of argument between you two okay tell me about the six of cups in the reverse somebody is refusing to let go of the past me about the six of cups reverse page of swords reverse yeah you see someone still holding on to the past it still hurts someone hasn't healed from it that's the problem 
Tell me about this Ace of Cups reverse for Aquarius in love. Whether this is an ongoing situation, a recent situation, or a past situation. Tell me about this Ace of Cups reverse for Aquarius in love. It just shows that somebody's really withholding um, their feelings. You see? I feel like someone may definitely still love the other person or they love the other person. They do see somebody's worth here. They do see the, you know, and all of that. But um, somebody can't get over this injustice. I'm telling you. They don't know if they can trust it again. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. Tell me about the four of pentacles, please. So someone's like, nah, you're not going to hurt me. I still need some more time. You see what I'm saying? Somebody still, need, <laughs> somebody still needs some more time. So whoever tried to approach the Aquarius or whoever tried to approach the person who got burned in the situation, they need to kind of back off, okay? Because I feel like it's only going to result in the Knight of Swords right now. Because someone may is still hurt from whatever happened. So tell me about justice in the reverse for Aquarius in this person. Knight of Cups reverse. Some of you, you guys may have even gotten engaged or something. And then shortly after, they may have changed their mind or something. Or, you know, they may have... Um, you know did this injustice you know you guys probably weren't even married yet you were just engaged six of swords yeah someone decided to move on some of you you know this may have resulted in a divorce okay tell me about the seven of swords but others of you i'm just seeing somebody who just kind of refuses to um like succumb to their feelings for you and to express those emotions that they have for you um they're very head over heart type of person Tell me about the Seven of Swords for Aquarius in love. Seven of Swords. Nine of Wands in reverse. See, just cause arguments. Exactly. Cause arguments. Tell me about Death reverse. Kind of really picking up strongly on Scorpio or... What else? Scorpio, Libra. Maybe a Sagittarius. Gemini, Taurus, possibly. Um, but yeah, you got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So this person wants to get back together. Somebody wants to get back together with you, but it's like, um, still need time. I still need time. Queen of Wands reverse could indicate somebody who may be um, kind of a little demanding or a little pushy about it. Seven of Swords is showing up again. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse for Aquarius in love. Ace of Wands reverse. King of Cups. So it looks like this person still loves you. This person still has love for you. King of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Or you still love this person. I feel like you guys still love each other, but some of you may feel like it's just, it's best for you guys not to be together, okay? <laughs> um, because there's grudges that's still being held here. So, be in regards to a cancer. So, let's see. What, else, what is hidden in this situation for Aquarius? What should Aquarius know in this love situation? What is hidden? What should Aquarius know? Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay. What you should know is I feel like this person is going to bring you clarity if they haven't already. They will bring you clarity, um, and I feel like for some of you, if this is a situation to where they, you know, out of nowhere just abandon you or left or whatever, you will get that clarity. You know, that wish will be fulfilled. But ultimately, with the Eight of Cups, um, there may still be a lack of emotional fulfillment in this situation for some of you, okay? It's almost like a situation to where it's like, okay, thank you for the... Thank you for the um, the closure. Thank you for the information. You know, <laughs> thank you for the you know the the truth and the clarity. I'm happy you did that. I'm happy you were man enough or woman enough to tell me the truth. But I don't see this working out. Um, I don't love you anymore or something like that. If that's your situation for a third party, okay. For others of you, I just kind of see you um, being very happy that this person, I feel like they're going to, um, 
I do feel like there's clarity that's happening between you and this person. They may make it very clear to you as to why they've been running away from their feelings and, um, you know, what's going on here. Okay, but bottom line, I do feel like whoever this person is, they miss you very much. Okay, and they have some, like, they have a lot that they haven't said to you or that they want to say to you. Okay, so let me see. Let me get some advice for Aquarius in this love situation. Advice. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. So it's almost like it's up to you. Can you trust this person? Can you trust them? Can you uh, can you work on the trust? Can you? It's up to you if you're going to reinvest. It's up to you if you're going to reinvest. Let me get some of these messages here. Angels, what messages do you have for this love situation for Aquarius? So, children are important to the this, to this partnership. Messages for Aquarius in this love situation. Messages. Addiction. Messages to, for Aquarius in this love situation. <clears throat> Okay, so we have addiction. An addiction is affecting this relationship. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. And you also have fate. This is a destined partnership. So, bottom line, um, there may not be any communication right now. It could be with a Virgo, but I feel like spirit is just saying somebody needs some time to heal from whatever happened. Just give it time. Or just give yourself time, okay? And I do feel like this person will come back around. Um, if there was something said or done out of insecurity here, I feel like this person is going to come back around, okay? At some point, but it's just some time that's needed, okay? So let's get some messages. And just what would this person want to say to Aquarius in love? What would this person want to say to Aquarius in love? Aquarius embarrassed i know i've acted childishly i don't know how to approach you now so they're scared to approach you mount mountain something or someone is standing in between us right now okay choice i'm trying to make a diff a very a very difficult decision and it involves you let me get one more what would this person want to say to aquarius in love oh two came out okay finances i'm busy with work right now and it requires my attention and you have a yes. So whatever your question is, yes is there. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Let me know what the freak is going on. Um, bottom line, I do feel like there's some clarity coming between you and this person about what caused this separation or whatever. But it's up to you if you're going to reinvest, okay? Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time.